This video on dried and hard nasal mucus is brought to you by healthhype.com. Please note that the information in this video does not replace the need for a medical consultation. Always speak to your doctor about your symptoms. We don't give the inner workings of our nose much thought until a problem arises. The nose is more than just a channel for air to enter and exit the body. Within the skull there is the nasal cavity which has important functions like filtering air, warming incoming air, moistening the air and detecting odors. This is ongoing with every breath that we take throughout life. Air from the environment provides vital oxygen to sustain life. The body also has to expel carbon dioxide that it produces. Most of this air into and out of the body moves through the nasal cavity and nose although air can also pass through the oral cavity and mouth. Dust and microbes in the air has to be stopped before it reaches the lower airways and lungs where it can cause infections. Mucus is secreted by the inner lining of the nasal cavity to trap this dust and microbes. Most of the mucus is then swallowed or sometimes expelled through the front of the nose. Some of this mucus dries and hardens into small crusts within the nose. There are many ways in which we can remove this dried mucus in the nose. We can irrigate the nose with a nasal spray or some other nasal solution. We can blow our nose to remove some of the mucus that is solid but loose. Lastly, we can pick our nose to manually remove the dried crusts. When the dried mucus accumulates in the nose then it can cause various symptoms. Nasal congestion, a reduced sense of smell, nasal pain, and even a change in the tone of the voice are some of the symptoms that may occur when the nasal cavity is partially or fully obstructed. Dried nasal mucus is a normal occurrence. It arises with the drying effect of air moving into and out of the nose. This causes the mucus in the nose to become dehydrated and crust together. Hot and dry weather is more likely to cause drying of the nasal mucus. Dusty environments are also a problem. Similarly any cause of excessive nasal mucus will increase the likelihood of dried crusts. This often occurs with nasal infections like the common cold or nasal allergies. In all of these instances the dried nasal crusts can be a bother but usually do not cause any serious problems. However, there are instances when this nasal debris becomes very hard like a small stone. This is known as a rhinolith. These type of nasal stones can even be seen on an x-ray. It forms when calcium is deposited around some foreign body in the nose. Even a small foreign body can serve as a seed for the formation of these stones. Some of the objects that may serve as a seed for this nasal stone to form includes Dust Beads Cotton balls any small foreign body that lodges in the nasal cavity for a long enough period of time may lead to a rhinolith. These rhinoliths can cause serious problems. It may lead to perforations in the nasal septum which is the cartilage that divides the nasal cavity. It can also cause granulomas which are masses of immune cells. Rhinoliths require medical attention preferably by an ear, nose, and throat specialist. Thank you for watching this video by healthhype.com. Always speak to your doctor about your condition for professional medical assistance.